Welcome back to Mike's Random Reviews. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Mike and I review all the random stuff that I buy on Amazon and elsewhere. Let's uh, dive right into this uh, unpackaging. Today we have the Scotty throw bag with 50 feet of floating MFP rope. This is what it looks like right out of the bag. A nice little line holder here. I'll kind of explain how all this works in a bit. There is the information or the attached card. I'm not sure if this is going to focus or not, if you can read it, but there you go. There is the actual tech specs of what's included. And say Francais. And there is the English side. Forget what I started with. But if you're French, you'll just have to translate. And it's actually from Sydney, BC, Canada. That's fun. Um, so just having a look at this bag here. It's, it's a actually really good construction. A good quality webbing was used for this strap. Um, this is a reflective stripe all the way around. Um, starting at the bottom, there is a little bit of foam in the bottom. Uh, so it will float. This loop at the bottom is actually to keep uh, the, the other, the far end of the rope. You know, it keeps it from pulling through the bag. This end of the rope is what you would say attach to your other hand. And then you would throw this part and then it would fly into the water and save your person who is in distress. So there's 50 feet of this rope. And I'm just gonna unravel it all here for you. There we go. Goodness gracious. Um, ideally, you probably wanna open this drawstring before you chuck it, just so uh, the mesh in this string doesn't bind the rope when it's coming out. This is what the bag looks like on the outside again. And on the inside, you can see there is that foam at the bottom. So let me turn this right inside out. And that's going to help with the flotation of the bag so it doesn't sink. And interesting, they got a, a knot down here just to keep the foam in place so that doesn't fly out. But it's pretty uh, snug in there, so I don't see that foam ever flying out. And a little tip when you want to repack this sucker, uh, you take the end of the rope, you throw it over your shoulder, or, or even on the other side of your head across your body from where you're going to be um, stuffing this back in. And you grab the bag with your middle finger and your, your, uh, your ring finger down there, and you just simply pinch the rope back into the bag. Give it a good stuff when you get a bunch in there so it settles properly. And then you just continue feeding it in. And if you start to see it nodding up, just make sure you untangle that first. And I still got it around my wrist here. So what we're gonna do is take that off so the rope can twist and do what it needs to do so it doesn't bind up.
and there we go. We are done. So we just cinch this back up. And we're good to go. Uh, it, as with any safety gear, try it out before you're getting out there. Like go to your front lawn and just try attaching this bag to your arm. Or your, your wrist, sorry. And just give it a good chuck. Do it a couple times. Uh, and uh, just so the first time you use this bag isn't actually in an emergency situation. Um, so you feel comfortable with it when, if the time ever arises that you need to use this bag. What is this for? This actually is for after you deploy the bag into water. And what you would do is you would just curl your line up as you, here, let's just let's say we just deployed this. Uh, and your line is wet. You don't want to put wet line back into this bag. So you would just loop it up as nicely as possible like that and then you would put that through and this holds all your line outside your bag so it can air dry and then once it's all dry you would stuff it all back inside so there is the uh, unpackaging uh, there was no unboxing because it didn't come in the box of the uh, Scotty 50 foot uh, throwback if you have any questions leave them down below Otherwise, we'll see you in the next review.